Brian, this question for you. You started your address with the phrase "Back to the Future," and you've, it's a phrase that you've repeated a number of times. Uh, it's a phrase that's reminiscent of the DeLorean, which is a car which was innately defunct and didn't really take off. What do you, or why do you think that your party will take off as opposed to the DeLorean? Well, we're we're under no illusion. I mean, um, we see this as a it's it's not a, um, a short term strategy here. This is this is a long term strategy. But we feel as people, um, basically, we investigate their, their history. They realise that how much better off um, we were in many respects, that we had, along, okay, we had things like the famine and we had many other situations that happened. But along with that, we had um, some economic um, booms. I mean, in fact, Dublin, pre the Act of Union, was a booming city. And Dublin, for many, year, many, many years, was the second city of the of the empire. So, I think re reinvestigating, if you like, our history would reveal an awful lot. But more importantly, when we say back to the future. We're talking about going back to a time when this country, for example, was one economic unit. We're talking about going back to a time when we had no illusions about where we we were in in the world. We're not saying that we need to be a third world country or we need to be subjugated to anyone. What we are saying is that home rule is absolutely what we believe in. And in some ways, we're carrying forward, if you like, the ideals that Parnell had and Redmond had, um, carrying forward the home rule idea where we would have our own parliament, a national parliament, which would consist of the 32 counties, and one which also saw democracy um, given out to the, the regions. But under that, because we've proven uh, inept, our, our politicians have proven very inept, where they're allowed the freedom to make their own choices. The EU has been a boon to us in some respects, which, which has meant that many directors from the EU force us to do things. But we feel the EU as a power block is very big, whereas if we had, had the economic block that is the Anglo-Irish um, block, if you want to call it that, that region, with the um, essentially the policy set from, if you want to call it a distant government in, in London representing the United Kingdom of both Britain and Ireland, that under that system we have an awful lot of more favourable um, trading conditions, economic conditions, indeed social justice conditions. So while we're saying back to the future, we mean going back to a time when we were one, one, one country. And don't forget that it was actually, home rule was coming to this country. And it took World War I, which was um, obviously a, a calamitous um, crisis that occurred in, in Europe and, and for Britain in particular. Um, and then obviously 1916, which short-circuited all that. Um, we were going to get home rule. So we were saying going back to that, where that was left off and seek to move our country forward on that basis. So back to the future is very much our slogan from that point of view.